Hi and welcome to the tutorial on learning to program with Unity 3D. You obviously know a little bit about Unity 3D if you've chosen to look at this video series. Um, obviously things like Kerbal Space Program and uh, City Skyline are pretty famous games that were made with Unity 3D and uh, it's pretty difficult to get the hang of it if you've never done it before. So we're going to teach you the most important part about Unity 3D, the coding in this series of tutorials. So your first task really is to um, get Unity 3D up and running. Um, my one is installed on here. Um, we're going to start right from the beginning and we're going to write a piece of code. Um, when you've got Unity 3D up and running and you've managed to sign yourself in and create an account if required, your job is to try and, uh, and get yourself a, a project started. So I'm just going to click on project and I'm going to click new. I've got a few of my projects I'm running right now are up here, but yours will be blank most likely. Clicking on new right now, um, we have uh, a box that comes up where you've got the, the opportunity to give your project a name and a location. And it's important that you remember where you put these things. So um, I'm going to put mine inside um, my documents, but I'm also going to make sure that I've got a folder inside that. So I have a Unity Projects folder and I have all my folders that I'm going to use in here. And what happens is when you create a project, the whole folder is created with a whole bunch of files that are pretty important for um, for making your project. So mine's is going to be inside um, documents and it's going to be inside Unity projects right now. And if I select that folder you'll see that it changes the path here. Um, what you call it will stay with it so um, you can't really change the name once you've done it but yeah well you can but it's best to leave it as it is so I'm just going to call this um, lesson one for now or test one. Uh, the other options you have are whether you want the default behaviour of the editor to be 3D or 2D for making a 2D sprite based games or for making 3D and we're going to keep it as 3D just now and I'm going to make sure that I disable this enable analytics and this is for people who are going to release this um, and try and make some money out of it so they, they work out who's playing it and where they're from. This um, assets packages if you don't we're going to start with this empty but you'll find later on that there are some pretty useful ones that you can get and download and uh, they'll give you a lot of functionality that you wouldn't you would normally have to write yourself so we'll leave this as it is just a bare bones project and if we click create project it'll close down and it'll pop back up with unity 3d up and running And here we have Unity. So I'm going to quickly go over a little bit about Unity and then we'll start writing our first piece of code. So you've got the 3D view uh, in the centre here. If you hold the right mouse, you can look around. Um, if you keep that right mouse held and use W, A, S and D, you can move around as well. Um, it's pretty handy to be able to move around like that rather than um, maybe a 3D modelling package like Blender where you have to orbit around. So um, just keep a hang of, um, keep a habit of moving around within your scene. Uh, we have on the left hand side we have everything that's within our scene and we can select the objects that are in your scene just by clicking on it and down here we have our console and our project view. The project view will contain all of the files that are within this. It's important to understand that um, the file system, this assets folder is also within your project structure so if you remember earlier I put inside documents and unity projects. I put in um, a folder called lesson one and here you can see that there is lesson one and you can see that here is an assets folder and it's empty just as it is down in here so when you need to find add and remove folders you can do it through the normal windows explorer um, or you can do it through the assets inside the unity if you're moving them around i highly recommend using the uh, unity version uh, rather than moving them around in here, otherwise you may lose the connections between um, objects within your project. So um, just pointing that out because it's an uh, important thing to know that it's an actual folder on a computer. And what we're going to do, um, oh yeah, one last thing, if you um, click on an object you see one of the key components or the key aspects of Unity 3D is that each object is made up of components um, that go up to make its its behavior and what it's going to do and what it's useful for and its function. So um, for example the directional light here has a transform component which is position, rotation and scale as you'd expect and it's got 
the light component, which um, you can change some of these values in here to to change how it how it looks, what color it is, and and, and the like. So we're going to move on um, very quickly because we want to. This, this series is about writing code. So what we're going to do is we're going to write some code. Now, normally you would attach this uh, to an object within within the uh, the scene here. Um, the, the code that we're going to write. So we're just going to very simply, we're just going to click on the main camera and we're going to add a script component to this. Uh, there's a few ways to do this. First of all, um, you can click on a right click on the assets folder and you can create a C sharp script. The other, the other thing which is probably easiest is if you add a component on the right hand side menu here. If you click on add component, you'll see all the different components you can add. I'm going to add a new script and it gives me a chance to name it straight away. Now this is just going to be a very simple hello world script and uh, I'm going to call it hello world. If I try and call it something wrong, like if I put a space in, it will give me a warning right here. It wouldn't do, though, do that if you just tried to create it over here. Um, special characters like spaces and, uh, and dashes and things don't work within script names, they're actually class names. Uh, just the same as variable names might be, which we'll go into later. So you have to call it something sensible. It's called Hello World Script, and we're going to click Create and Add. Um, you see, it gets added as a component. This component can be enabled and disabled just with a click. Um, and what we're going to do now is going to just jump in and take a quick look at it. So we really want to write some code now, so we'll just get this uh, hello script that we um, created. We'll just open this up now. If you click on it here, you'll see a preview of it comes up on the right hand side inside the inspector. We're going to open this up inside the editor. So with it selected, uh, you can have, um, you might need to do this first time up. You click on open C sharp project and what it's going to do is just create all the project files that it requires to open up. It should open up in Mono Develop. If it, if it doesn't and it uses Visual Studio, don't stress. Um, we'll hopefully be using Mono Develop from now on. Um, if it doesn't come up in Mono Develop and you'd like to change it, you can go into the Edit and um, you go down to Preferences, choose the External Tools, and uh, instead of Visual Studio, change that to Mono Develop, the built-in um, IDE integrated development environment. So that you do have it the same as me for following through with these tutorials. So we have our code right here. Um, it's very confusing so rather than stress about explaining everything I'll do that in the next video we're just going to write a piece of code. So we've got a block of code here that's um, that's got void start and what we're going to do is a classic first thing that you ever do when you learn programming is you get it to print something out. Um, usually hello world um, for every programming language so we're just going to do that Make sure your cursor is in the same place as mine, so it's between this curly bracket of start and this curly bracket of start, and you're just going to start typing in print. And you see that it comes up with some help as well, so this is uh, code completion that you don't get in a lot of IDEs. So we've got print, um, and then it pops up some brackets, and then it, it gives you an example and a summary of what this actually does. And we're going to type in the inverted commas. Um, you should be able to find those just to the left of the enter key. And then I'm just going to say hello world. And I'm going to ensure that the semicolon is at the end. And then I'm going to save my code. Now control S is a real shortcut that you should get used to. Um, if you don't want to press control S um, click on the file and click on save and it will do the same thing. Now you do not need to close this now. Once this file is saved you can just minimize it and you'll see that Unity takes a few seconds and it compiles the code and you'll actually see that it can show you in the preview here that that's actually happened. And because this code is attached to this camera and it's running within the start function of this code when the game starts um, the action that you expect will happen, so the action that you coded will happen. And we're going to see it inside the console here, so I'm going to just click on console and the tab on the left and hit play, and you'll see that the game plays, and out, the output inside the console is hello world, and that was from the camera because we typed that code. So that's basically it. We've just looked at how um, scripts are components, how they are accessed within MonoDevelop, 
and in the next couple of videos we're going to learn how to write something a little bit more exciting than just typing in hello world to the console.